Hi guys, this is Srikanth here. Uh, this is the continuation video, uh, the last one that is the change data capture. The last video we have seen what exactly the meaning of change data capture. Then we have seen uh, how we can check on database that CDC is enabled or not. Then we have seen if it is not enabled on the database, how we can enable it. Okay, right. So in this session we are going to talk about how we can enable the cdc on a particular table and how we can track down all the changes uh, changes in how the changes will happen changes will happen if we will do the insert update delete this kind of operation right so uh, before that the first requirement is we have to create table so i'm creating one table for testing purpose I'm giving it name as CDC uh, test, right? ID. I'm giving identity just for the tracking purpose so that it will be easy for us to identify what what was changed. So I'm just giving one column identity, then just name with some data. Okay, I am executing this query so the table will be created. Now, this is the table on which I have to enable the CDC and I want to track down all the changes on this table. So the first thing is that I have to check it out that the CDC is enabled on this table or not. How we will check that? We have one sys table, system table, okay, where we have to check that there is one flag called as the CDC is tracked by cdc okay so the value for this flag will be one or zero if the value is zero it means the cdc is not enabled on this table if it is zero it means the cdc is enabled on the table so now you can see the cdc is not enabled on this table so we can enable this cdc on this table so it has some procedure before that we have to first start our sql server agent so how you will do that just go here on SQL server agent okay then right click on that there is one option called as start so click on that start press yes now this SQL server agent job will be started so SQL server agent service will be started actually so now here you will see there is a no job running or the, there is a no job created here so the basic requirement is that you we should have the sql server agent service and have uh, started on the server okay now next step is we have to enable the cdc on a particular table how we'll do that we'll do that by cdc enable table this is the sp so this sp we have to pass some parameter okay the it has a lot of parameter but the mandatory uh, parameters are only three so we'll just pass the three parameter here the schema is dbo for this table then the source name source name is the table name and uh, we then we have to give the role name actually role name is mandatory parameter here you can see from the schema definition the role name i don't want remember and i don't want to be more confused so i'm not giving any name so i'm just uh, giving it as not so when i execute this query the cdc will be enabled the one important thing here is that we can't enable the cdc on master table actually so we have to go into our database that is change data capture okay so go into that go into that database okay then create table okay then check the cdc is enabled or not okay cdc is not enabled on this table so i am running this procedure to enable the cdc on this table now 